Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved these chrome holographic nails. I don't know if you can really see them that good right here, so I'm going to try to insert a picture here. But yeah, so this is my very first time using the chrome nail powder. I have been wanting to try it for a minute and I finally ordered them off Amazon and one finally came. So I'm super excited to try it. So yeah, so I tried it and let me just tell y'all, I had a little bit of a struggle. So, I first started off doing my nails right, did three nails with using, well, leaving the gel tackiness on and applying the chrome powder on top of the tackiness from the gel and rubbing it in that way. So, I started doing my nails like that and then once I got to the fourth nail, I don't know why, but for some reason I took the tackiness off and then applied the powder. And I noticed a significant difference between when I left the tackiness on and applied the powder and when I took it off. When I left the tackiness on, the um, look was more of a glittery look. It looked more glittery. And without it, it looked like this. And I preferred this look. So I went, <laughs> I went back and I redid those previous three nails that I did that looked more glittery and decided to do it like with taking the tacking this off cleaning them first and then applying the powder and I was like okay I'll, that'll be my technique I'm gonna use so when I started to film I was using the same technique but for some reason the powder was not adhering to the nail whatsoever as you're about to see in the video so I had to like touch my last pinky nail that still had a little bit of tackiness on it and had the little I guess tackiness on the brush and then it started to rub in well for the nail so my conclusion is to leave a little bit of the tackiness from the gel on but not on the entire nail because if it's left on the entire nail it will look more glittery so that's just what I've noticed when doing them but if anybody out there has you know done them yourself experience with the chrome nail and have a technique that's really really good please let me know because I'm trying to figure it out because I really, 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 really do like this a whole lot. Like, yes, I'm going to love these nails. So, yeah, so, and I know you're supposed to use the no wipe gel polish as your top coat after you apply the powder, but I ordered my no wipe UV gel top coat on Amazon and it hasn't arrived yet and it's not expected to arrive for a whole nother month. And I'm impatient. I don't want to wait. I tried to look in Sally's to see if they had it. They didn't. So I didn't know any other stores to check. So I said, I'm just going to try it with my regular gel top coat and see what happens. So that's what I did. And I didn't notice any significant difference. The nail still looks shiny. I still see the little holographic effect and everything. So it worked for me so far. But I guess when the polish I ordered online comes, I'm going to check and see if I notice any differences between the two. So yeah, so let me stop talking and y'all can just get right into it and see how I achieve this look. Keep watching. Okay, so I've already completed my entire right hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up these last two nails on the left hand. And I am using the gel, brush on gel nail kit by Kiss. And the supplies that come in this kit are the brush on gel the KISS Cleaner, and the KISS Activator. And I am also using the um, Pink Chiffon Rose Gel Polish. This is um, from Sensation Nail. I'm using, for my top coat, I don't have the No Wipe UV Gel Polish yet, so I'm just using my regular gel polish. And because I'm using my regular top coat gel polish, that you know leaves it tacky. I also applied this Sally Hansen Big Shiny Top Coat on top just to make sure that I didn't lose any shine when rubbing off the tackiness from the nails. So I'm also using, of course, a nail filer. I also have my battery operated Kiss nail filer, fingernail clipper. A buff, I use this to buff my nails, which I've already buffed these two nails. And I'm using my little nail brushes to wipe away the dust and to clean any excess powder. 
and of course I'm using my tips and to achieve this chrome hologram look I am using this powder it's I guess Born Pretty is the brand that's all that's on here I purchased it from Amazon I will put the link in the description box below so I also use some rubbing alcohol and I have my acetone ready for any excess cleanup area that I have to do afterwards in addition to my LED lamp so to start of course I'm gonna start by applying my tips so I'm gonna just measure this out and so cut it down and glue it on with the brush on gel Now I'm just going to file and shape the nails to get this little square look here. Okay, so now I have shaped both of the nails. So I'm just going to buff down the line where the artificial nail meets my natural nail using this battery operated nail file. Gonna dust away the um, nail file particles, and now I'm just going to start applying my gel. So I'm gonna start with the actual gel itself. I'm going to switch my cleaner top and my activator top because of course the activator top doesn't come with the brush so we're going to use the cleaner brush top dip that into the activator and apply the activator And stick the brush back in the cleaner and I'm going to repeat this for the last nail as well I'm just checking to see if that's dry so now I'm just going to repeat this step once again over the nails because I'm going to apply two coats Okay, so I'm going to make sure that both that this nail is dry before I go ahead and proceed with applying my gel. Okay, so now that I have all my two coats of gel, I'm going to go ahead and start polishing. So I'm going to use my um, pink chiffon polish first. I'm going to cure this in my lamp for 30 seconds. And 
I'm just gonna repeat this step again and put on another coat of polish. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on those two coats and now I am going to take a piece of tissue Put some rubbing alcohol on it and take away the tackiness of the nail before I put the chrome powder on it. So now that I've done that, I'm going to open up my powder and this is how it looks. Very similar to eyeshadow and the this powder did come with this little eyeshadow applicator for you to apply it so I'm just gonna dip it in the chrome powder and start to rub it in now what I found was when rubbing it after I clean it off clean the tackiness off it takes me a minute to rub it on but if I leave the tackiness on and try to rub it, it looks more like glitter and not the hologram effect. So I'm just applying a whole bunch of pressure to get it on there. Since that was like really smooth, the surface was really smooth, I touched the nail that has a little bit of tackiness on it just to make it start adhering to my nail better because it was not doing it at all at first. So I'm just going to keep rubbing it on. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't take the entire tackiness off, but just some of it. Okay, so yeah, just like that. So now I'm gonna take my little brush to brush away any SS powder. And now I'm gonna take my other little nail brush that looks like this, and I'm going to dip it in my acetone. And get around the cuticles to kind of clean up my cuticle area where extra powder may have fell. So now what I'm going to do is take my top coat of gel polish And just put on a coat of the clear polish on top to seal in this powder. And 
Now I'm gonna use some more alcohol to wipe away the tacky top. And now I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Big Shiny Coat on top of the nails just to make sure it is shiny and I didn't lose any shine from cleaning it off. And that is it. This is my final look. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.